current Miss East Naples USA, and I will be competing for the title of Miss Florida USA this July. And I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia when I was 19, and I was also just diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, also known as POTS. When I was six years old, I started competing in pageants. My very first pageant was in the middle of a mall. Um, and that's kind of where it started. I started um, after that going into an organization called Sunburst, and those were most of the pageants I did when I was little. So when I was 17, I started having stress-induced seizures. Um, I would have up to five a day. I missed 30 days of high school. So I was diagnosed at 19 with fibromyalgia, and I had no idea what that meant. The doctor just said, hey, this is a lifelong condition. Some people believe in it, some people don't. There's a big stigma against it. Here's some pills, good luck. I know that recently I've been wanting to take the next step into my advocacy journey and raising awareness and educating people on chronic illness. And I just thought that pageantry would be a really good way to do that, especially since I'm putting somebody with a chronic illness into a space where we would typically be excluded from. And, you know, if raising awareness means walking on stage in a swimsuit and in a beautiful evening gown, I'm going to do that. And I just thought that this would be a really great platform for me that could turn into a national platform to raise awareness for the cause.